Hi everybody, it's Connie here. Um, just coming on here to do a chit chat slash update and I don't know, there's really not much going on. As you guys know, I'm just kind of, um, I've been doing my fertility monitor for the last like five days or so because it started to ask me for sticks and um, I've only used it a handful of times and so I'm going to be using it pretty much from here on out. Um, in the past I got it but I was so not good with keeping up with ordering the sticks and all of that and it was kind of just like a hassle so um, if any of you guys are kind of curious about my thoughts on it um, so far you probably don't need an expensive monitor like the one that I bought. Um, the clear blue like advanced digital ovulation predictor I think that would be fine um, but for me I don't know why I was thinking okay I think if I spend more money somehow maybe it'll work better I don't know I don't think that's true um, but I do enjoy using it um, but I don't think that it's gonna be like one of those things that I would like recommend that everyone has to have you know what I mean so yeah um, cycle day 12 today and low fertility I'm just I've just been kind of like waiting to get the the high and then the peak and it should be happening um, you know sometime within the next few days so yeah I'm kind of excited you know it's my first cycle trying after the hysteroscopy procedure and um, I guess that's what I really just wanted to come on here and um, tell you guys about was the research that I've been doing on polyps. You know, I don't know if you guys know much about it or if you kind of know already, but I just want to share with you what I've been learning. And um, in my last video, I did mention that I was a little skeptical as to whether taking out the polyps you know, made a difference in my fertility. Um, of course, we don't know that until I get pregnant, you know, so, but um, I have been doing so much research. I am a research freak, okay? Like, if I, I get really interested in a topic, I will research the heck out of it. I want to get into every little detail. I want to see what other women are saying about it. And so, um, this is what I've been learning about the whole polyp situation. Um, okay, so basically, I, this is what I've read. Polyps in the uterus are normally due to hormones. It's like, in, usually it's like if you have increased levels of estrogen because the polyps feed off of the estrogen hormone. A lot of doctors are sort of on the fence about polyps and fertility. Some doctors think that, no, nah, if you have a little bit and they're small, it doesn't really affect it. And other doctors are like, no, it does. Even, even if you do have polyps, no matter what size they are, they're going to affect your fertility. Um, so what I learned was, actually, I wanted to tell you guys that I have video footage of my hysteroscopy procedure where John is like holding the camera at the monitor and he also has the doctor like putting the polyps on a little gauze paper and I reviewed the video again like a couple of days ago and I was really shocked like I was like oh my gosh those last two polyps that she took out are pretty big and the last few days I've been just really thinking that those may have really affected you know the condition of my uterus, the health of my uterus, you know, just everything like because although some of them were kind of small th there were a couple that were really substantial in size like if I were to like show you my my thumb like kind of like my thumbnail like it looked it's, it's about the, the size of my thumbnail which is pretty big and like two of them are like that so um, the way it affects fertility is that if an embryo, let's say you have an egg and a sperm that fertilize and it's like making its way down from the fallopian tube to your uterine lining, if you've got like polyps, like right there where it's trying to implant, it's not going to be able to implant. Um, and so it's going to hinder implantation. That's one thing. The other thing is, is that if you do have polyps and let's say you do get pregnant as the embryo 
is trying to grow from that spot in your uterus that it's implanted itself. If there's like polyps kind of like near or around it, it could cause miscarriage. Because what's happening is the polyps in your uterine lining, it's kind of like taking some of that blood supply. So if we look at the endometrial lining as a thick, nutrient-rich lining, like blood-rich lining, that the embryo feeds off of so that it can grow, and you've got polyps, then the polyps are kind of create, like they're kind of competing with the embryo. So those are the two major things about having polyps in your uterus is that it, it, it hinders or can disrupt implantation from happening in the first place, or it can cause miscarriage after the embryo has implanted itself. So that's why you'll find um, a lot of doctors will um, try to check for that, especially before doing IUI and IVF. Um, sometimes the polyps can be um, detected from an HSG and sometimes it won't be because they're kind of small, but you can have a lot of them, you know, so um, luckily my doctor was able to find one, find it on a transvaginal ultrasound because he saw the one that was kind of sizable and it just showed up. I mean, that just kind of, that just shows right there that that was, it was pretty big. Um, and, and also if it doesn't show up on the HSG, some doctors will, um, do the, um, SIS or the SHG, which is, um, it's either saline infused sonogram or the sonohistogram. Um, both are the same thing. Basically it's a procedure where um, they fill up your uterus with saline water and then they could see a little bit better with what's going on in your uterus. Even that could miss polyps if they're small and you know what I mean? So the, I think the best procedure is honestly the hysteroscopy. Um, only because it literally will show you definitively like with a camera what is going inside of the uterus. So yeah, that's what I'm just wanting to chit chat with you guys about. Um, even if you're not a YouTuber, TTCer, um, you know, please just leave a comment below and let me know where you're at. Update me on your status. I I love to hear about. I love the fact that we can like kind of follow each other's journey. And I know a lot of my subscribers don't make YouTube videos, and that's okay. Just leave a comment below and let me know where you're at. If you're pregnant, leave me a comment and go, hey, I'm, you know, five weeks and, you know, this is what's going on with me. Like, you know, I love that community that we get to kind of keep up with each other. So um, please do leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, I really do mean that. And um, yeah, so that's about it for today, guys. Um, all I've been doing really is... Um, just trying to exercise. John and I joined a gym a few months ago and thankfully the gym is like pretty much right across the street. We have walked to the gym, you know, many times now. So I've been keeping busy with doing lots of Zumba and it's great cardio and also yoga for just like stretching and strengthening and stuff like that. Um, and I've been making tons of green smoothies. If you guys like follow me on Instagram, sometimes I'll post a picture of a green smoothie that I made and I feel like it's making a huge difference for me in my body. I feel like um, my skin is starting to get better and um, I just feel like really, really good. So um, that's my update. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Yeah, let me know what's going on with you in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you next time. Bye!